Hey everybody, welcome to The Cutting Edge. I am doing a follow-up review on my Condor Mini Dooku Parang. Uh, if you've seen the previous videos that I've done, I was talking mainly about the Condor Griffiths buoy, and that is still in limbo as I have sent it to the company uh, last week, Monday, as a matter of fact, and I'm waiting for my replacement. So once I get a replacement, if I get a replacement, um, then I'll do another review on that. In any case, I was out in the yard doing some chopping today and some clearing some brush with the uh, Mini Dooku Parang, and I've not been disappointed with it. The edge is uh, really good. The handle is very comfortable. What I did notice is that you can see this wear here on the blade that I got after doing some work. I also got that on the other side, but I took some real fine grit sandpaper and sanded it off there. And I will clean the blade and oil it once I'm finished. That being said, I did the same brush clearing work and cutting with my Ontario knife company machete, which as I've mentioned before is quite a bit cheaper than the Condor Mini Dooku Parang. And if you look at that edge, there's no rust marks or anything like it. Um, clearly you can see some wear. I've had this for a while and there's this black powder coating of whatever it is on the blade. So you do have to take that into account, but it's a great deal thinner as far as the edge is concerned than the, uh, than the Parang. So it does require a little bit of extra work. Sorry about that. It does require a little bit of extra work, but it cut through the same uh, materials that I cut through with the Parang. As far as a contrast and comparison goes, the, the weight for both of them overall is very similar. The handle thickness is similar as well. And frankly, if, that, if I was gonna change anything, um, then that's one thing that I would look to change. If you're familiar with the Western buoy, then you can see that the Western buoy is significantly thinner in the handle than either one of these knives. But uh, this is probably, this is probably a Vietnam era Western buoy. So if you're expecting to see me doing a video where I'm chopping with this, uh, don't hold your breath. Uh, anyway, the advantages to the Condor with the weight and the, the design of the blade, you're going to spend a little bit less effort cutting through the same material that you would with the Ontario machete. Uh, but you're going to pay more for it. Uh, about twice what you would pay for the Ontario machete and the Rothko sheath. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to have to be concerned about what you're doing with it, um, by all means, go with the Ontario knife machete. I think the with the machete and the Rothko sheath that also has the sharpener, you're looking at about 54 bucks. Okay, the Condor with the leather sheath, you're looking at about $96, $97. It, it works, it's sweet. I'm probably gonna take a file and do some work on the handle here to give me a little more traction as far as grip goes. But, uh, and then I'm gonna, of course, sand off that, whatever that is on the blade. Uh, but, it's a good tool. I like it. I'm not disappointed with the purchase. Um, despite the bad luck that I had with the Griffiths buoy. And like I said, when I do get that back, if and when I do get a return or a replacement, I will do a follow-up review. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll talk to you later. Bye.